I'm sure they'll make a very happy couple. Anyway, you see how this show works, how one thing leads to another? So we're off to Glasgow now. Fabulous. See, the great thing about doing a documentary like this, excuse me, is this uh, going to Glasgow? This coach is going to Glasgow, man. It's so easy to meet your next guest because the world is just filled with humans, like spores. You just reach your hand into the big grab bag of life and pluck one out. Why are you going to Glasgow? Why not? Do you travel a lot? Yes, in Europe and uh, America, Northeast. I can't understand Oriental culture. Uh. Where have you been in America? Oh, well, it was fun going to, to uh, Louis, uh, Louisiana. I went there calling it Louisiana. Why did you go to the South in America? Well, I wanted to see the Deep South, and uh, it was before, you know, a crack scene. If I went now, I might have made several hundred thousand importing in my choir, because old women can get away with anything. Nobody thinks they do anything <laughs> you except get older. And you could hide a tremendous amount of your cane. Exactly. I wasted all the opportunities in my life from doing things straight. Are you married? Were you married? No, I've never been uh, married. I've been a courtesan. In fact, in a, in a previous life, I'm sure I was a courtesan, because I've got this passion for jewelry. And no nice woman has that. And very long legs. And very long legs, yes. So did you have a great love affair? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. It lasted 16 years. People ask one, was it enjoyable? No, there was too much passion and heartache and frustration. But it was all living. And it's much, it's much more important to live unhappily than not to live at all. And, and the, Why was there so much heartache? Because unless you're married, or even if you're married, you never know when you're going to meet, or if you have an engagement to meet him, his wife may oh, say, to going off. I, we've got to go and see uh, Granny today. Why did you split up with him? Why did you find the end? He died. Oh, he did? Yes. How? He died of... He, he died of uh, despair, I think, but he was old, so it didn't really matter. But you can't, it, it's very difficult. He was a, he, he was a Libra, and they like to keep, you know, balance even. And if you've got two women to satisfy, that's a very difficult thing to do, and it told on him. Did you ever say to him, give me up? Yes, but that didn't work. Uh, once you're very, one, we, 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 because we found it so difficult to meet, we always had a sense of great excitement and the art of surprising uh, each other. So we just couldn't give each other up. But we equally wouldn't marry because we both believed that you can't be happy uh, at the expense of making somebody else unhappy. You'll pay for that in the long You'll run. You'll get the bill? You'll get the bill. There's a Spanish proverb, God says, take what you want and pay. And by God, that's right. Were you very rebellious when you were a little girl? Oh, no, much too uh, timid. Um, I was terrified of my uh, parents. They were a not uncommon type of parent, which only wants uh, boy children who will grow up to be a credit to them and increase their um, eclat and whatnot. Girls were no good at all, so I was made to feel extremely unwanted. And I rather rebelled against that, but there was nothing I could do about it. I mean, did they like you at all? No. I don't think they did. At least if they did, they kept the secret very much to themselves. I wasn't conscious of being liked. I wasn't conscious of even being disliked, which I think I would have preferred to being nothing. 
I don't know, how did you not end up an axe murderess? Because you think that kind of rejection, you know, that suddenly if you stood in the witness box, I would say, oh, vote for her. She had a lousy childhood. I, say that again. I well, how talking. are you not an axe murderess? An I, axe murderess? Axe. You know. Axe murderess? Oh, I couldn't get hold of an axe. That's quite simple. One inherits one's parents' genes. And my mother was a very dominant woman. And can I quote Philip Larkin's poem? Sure, yes, yeah. They fuck you up, your mum and dad. You may not know it, but they do. <laughs> they give you all the faults they had and add some others just for you. <laughs> So, uh, Philip Larkin went through it, so did I, and we both came out the other end. But now you're free. Oh, yes. Aren't you? Uh, oh, yes, completely free, and, uh, and uh, I've enjoyed life very much. And that's what I'm very grateful for, uh, that the uh, Naomi Mitchison said, uh, the pleasure of being old is the next great adventure is death. And if you've had a good life, you can look forward to that great adventure. If you haven't, you're always waiting for it this side of the grave. And that's the saddest thing of all. So I've been devilish lucky to have missed out on that one. When are we going on the, on the death ride? I hope not today on this bus. Could be. Who's to know? I knew somebody like you would be my partner. I knew that was my fate in life. That somebody like you would be in my buddy system. When they check us at the gate, I go, we're together, table for two. This is Sal's house.